I am baffled by as much attention as this has received. I have sped before and I might speed again. That is the top cop of Arizona's highways making light of the revelation that he was caught driving more than 90 miles per hour on a freeway, weaving in and out of traffic without using his turn signal. Good evening, I'm Mitch Carr in for Mark Curtis tonight. More fallout today for Frank Milstead, who has been an adamant voice against speeding on Arizona's highways for years. He is now suddenly doing an apparent about face and downplaying his own actions. Joe Dana caught up with Milstead today, who answered questions for the first time, and he has our big story tonight. Hey, Joe? For people who get speeding tickets, this is a really serious story. You know, Milstead began the day with a radio interview where he joked it was, quote, an exciting day to talk about speeding, seeming to make light of the fact that he was in violation of criminal speeding. And his own words show he seemed to not even understand the law. Just over a thousand traffic deaths last year on Arizona roads. Historically, DPS Director Frank Milstead has pounded home the message, speed kills. It's the top three ways that you become involved in a collision or get yourself killed on an Arizona highway. Number one is absolutely speed. The difference between running the speed limit and running at 85 is probably about two minutes. Give yourself an extra couple minutes and make sure you're not involved in something catastrophic. But after this October traffic stop, these guys going about over 90 miles an hour, weaving through traffic, not using your guys' turn signals. Milstead severely downplaying the fact he was driving at a level considered criminal. I am baffled by as much attention as this has received. I have sped before and I might speed again. In fact, during a radio interview Friday morning with KTAR, Milstead revealed he wasn't even aware that he could be guilty of a criminal offense. Is going over 85 considered criminal speeding? No. It's not? No, it's 21 over the posted speed limit is criminal. It's, uh, it's not even a misdemeanor crime, it's just a civil traffic infraction. There's no criminal activity at all. After a commercial break, Milstead corrected the record. I only had half the law, well, the law right. It. it was on me. Um, the, what, what was asked was, was 85 criminal? And yes, it, it, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so 85. 80, 85 is criminal. Yes. After that interview, we caught up with Milstead. How is it possible that you didn't know that that was criminal speeding? I don't know how to answer that, sir. Because there are troopers every day who have to tell people they pull over, you're guilty of criminal speeding, and they give them tickets. For the director not to know that this was criminal speeding, I would say would be awfully offensive to a lot of drivers who get those tickets. Okay, thank you. I also asked Milstead why he appeared to be downplaying speeding violations with comments like these. Uh, I, I tried to drive in slow this morning. I got honked at, flipped off, and somebody threw a cup at my car. So uh, it, uh, it just, it just, I just try to be, you know, a good steward of the roadways like everybody else. This might be the first time you are the story, though, Colonel Frank. It's an exciting day for me to uh, be here to talk about my speeding. You said it was a dis an exciting day to discuss speeding. Are you taking this too lightly? I've shown the contrition. I've made my mistakes. I'm moving on. Thank you, though, for your time. Again, uh, Director Milstead received a warning for that traffic stop. Now, in 2018, his agency, DPS, issued more than 8,000 tickets to drivers who were speeding over 90 miles an hour. Back to you guys. All right, Joe, thanks so much.